Hello everybody, Shaziz is here. Uh, we're going to build a giant capacitor. I've got uh, 16 panes of glass that are uh, 16 inches by 20 inches. And I got uh, let me see here. Not one, but four. Four. Yeah, I got four cheap rolls of living fall. <laughs> Alrighty then. So this is pretty a simple deal here. When we're gonna build us a giant capacitor. Let's open up your aluminum foil. Ah, that blast it. Okay. First, we're going to lift our glass. Do -do 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 -do. We're going to lay down our aluminum foil. Do -do 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 -do. Going to center it up. middle of the glass. Gonna leave about a, a an inch right here on the edge in between here and here. Okay, and then we're going to lay that one down on the ground. And we're going to get another roll of aluminum fall. <laughs> and burn it. Doggone uh, headphone cord keeps getting tangled up. Alright, I'm probably going to have to edit this and stop this video once or twice. But either way. Then we're going to take our next roll of aluminum foil. Keep old aluminum foil. And do the same thing. Alright. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. Okay, now we left a, an inch over here as well. Now we're taking another pane of glass. Do, 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 do. And we're going to stack it on top of the other one. Then going to bring our aluminum foil up and over the top. And we're going to back off an inch. Move her all down best we can. Try to keep her flat. Move that one down there. Then we're going to get another pane of glass. And then we're going to repeat the process. Down about an inch. Ah. I'm going to try to keep them as straight as possible. And then another pane of glass. And we're going to keep on repeating this process over and over. So I will uh, stop the video here and uh, finish it up and then come back. Well, we're still going here. 
glass makes the best insulator and we want as much surface area with the aluminum foil as possible that's why we're making it as uh, big as we're doing it here because I'm making a super capacitor and you can always tell whenever you're ready to flip over to the other side and go the other direction by looking down in there and seeing that you got the, the inch on that side there so I'm still going just got to keep alternating back and forth it's obnoxious sometimes but hopefully when we get it done it'll be worth the effort if it does what I believe it will do uh, you'll be impressed okay here we are at the end of our rolls now we've what we've got is uh, a positive and a negative side plate uh, everything separated by the glass and then all we have is our leftover pieces of foil right here which we will just smooth out right there that's going to be the end of it and then use a little bit of duct tape some people call it 200 mile an hour tape they use it on race cars keep things from falling off. Seal that just to hold it. Do the same to the other side just to hold it. Alright, now here comes the fun tricky part. You got to be real careful when working around glass because you don't want to end up cutting yourself. I'm going to use this duct tape to go all the way around to hold the glasses together. One pass on that one will be alright for the moment. And I need to flip this thing over. Remember that we um, remember that we had a long piece over there. I did that for a reason so that each one of those would uh, come out even on the other side over there. So let's turn it around. can tape that side. I probably could have just scooted it over, but got an extra plate here. Need to tape that down. I'm going to fold this edge just a hair. Try to straighten it up a bit. tape this edge. Okay. Now I'm going to tape that side there and then I'm going to tape this side right here and tape it up real good and then I'll be back. Da -da 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 -da. Well I hope you can see this. Since I don't need the actual contact to this back plate I'm going to cover it up with duct tape just to insulate it probably save some duct tape by using a piece of cardboard but 
I want to look pretty. Alright, I'll pause it again. Got it completely duct taped down now. And flip her over. Please, anytime you're working with glass or electricity, always practice safety. Safety first. That's what I always say. That's my motto. Okay, I'm going to pause this again for a second. Okay, we're back again. I got uh, both leads are taped down. I got the uh, aluminum foil covered up with tape. And so I'm going to run a test to see if this thing even works. And I'll get back with you. Peace. Okay, here we are at take two. I just went ahead and hooked up my uh, my uh, AC tester to the the capacitor. I got one link dangling, and I got one link to the uh, ground there. So uh, this thing's not powered in any way other than uh, picking up energy off of that Tesla coil, which is kind of sitting a little too close right now. But uh, I'm running out of room in here. But either way, well, I'm going to turn the light off here so you can see how far it lights up. This thing uh, goes up to 440 volts AC, I think, 460 maybe. I'll have to look at it when I turn the light back on. Either way, I'm, tar I'm turning it on now. Okay, you can see it's lit up to 110, 220, uh, 360 and barely lit up at the top up there I had to wire it like this because I was shocking the crap out of myself sitting there trying to hold it my uh, microphone lines not long enough to be reaching over here <clears throat> anyway there it is uh, a super high voltage uh, wireless capacitor made out of glass and aluminum foil um, it works you should try make you one uh, that's about all I got for right now. Hold on, let me uh, show you this thing's got some power to it. Ah! Shocking the crap out of myself again. Okay, I'm unhooking the AC tester. And I'm dropping the ground. AC tester is off. Over there. Ta da! some reason or another my body was sucking the energy out of that thing and I couldn't get the light bulb to light up but uh, I guarantee you every damn time I touched it I, I got lit up <laughs> either way there you go it's a uh, super capacitor totally wireless it's being charged off the Tesla coil sitting on the uh, bench there uh, a little close to that one right there but it's uh, totally unpowered it's not touching any uh, power source it just uh, there you go and it'll shock the crap out of you ah! <laughs> uh, yeah Look at here, this is the side of the coil, or the uh, capacitor. Look at that. It works! Success! Peace and love, everybody.